Hello and welcome to my coding session. You are watching the development of the JavaFX application for managing XML files which are consist of satellite information. Uh, if you're watching this for the first time, just watch my first video where you can get full information what is all about. Now I have here I'm showing you here the page of the project. It is on the GitHub where you can find additional infos about the project. So for example you can find here a requirement specification document, target specification document and UML diagrams and so on. Uh, very uh, important things uh, to, to notice it is this document. This document is a PDF document which consists of information in German. It is not, not created by me but rather created by the people who are um, who are have uh, the system I mean who have created operating system Neutrino for the satellite receiver debox box 2 so and I using this information to understand the structure and the uni uniqueness of the each of the attributes in the XML well let me just show my last result let me just quickly get an overview and where here so my last uh, work was done on the dealing with the services xml i created three classes i have created channel i have created transponder and i have created set services list probably let me just let me just quickly look at set services XML. Exactly, I have here set services list and the set services list. What? Ah, okay, so it's not complete because set services list does not include. He does not include my. In, in the diagram I have the, the set services list should include transponder, li transponder list transponder list let me just look let me just do it like this I'm using groupy fire from stardock it, it is not advertisement but it is, is really really useful tool the groupy fire tool from stardock so basically I need to add a list uh, to the set services list. Let me just quickly briefly overview here. So that I can understand the procedure. So the set TV channel is here in the set transponder as I, as I show here on the picture so the next probable move would be because in my transponder I have the list of set TV channels and the next move will be to to, to create in the set services list Third service list, the transponder variable. And as I said earlier, I am doing test driven development. Now it means that I need to open the appropriate test here. And now I need to write a test. So, what I'm doing here in the set services list, and I need to write, so I'm checking the value is the fields in the set services list all right so basically okay so i need to to write following
so set services list should consist of it should it should have a relationship has a relationship from the transponder so it should consist transponder list Sh then it means that I need to create set services check if transponder list not null this is actually the next oh sorry the next step and I'm doing assert not null assert not null and of course so here I need to be to make sure what that, that I am doing the right stuff so I have a list of uh, and the list should be consisting of set transponder The list of the transponder, list of transponders. Remember, um, in my set, in my services XML, I have a lot of transponders, like here, one transponder, second transponder, and so on. I have many transponders in my services XML. So, in order to be able to handle this stuff, I need to create new uh, so I'm actually what I need to pass here list list of transponders let me just quickly think of uh, so list of set TV channels let me first to the to to do following list of transponders Lif list of transponders and what it should consist of set services object get transponder list now let me quickly import needed classes and here I need to include this now and I need to create the appropriate field so basically here is what what he doesn't like it and I need to create a method okay so I'm going to my set services list and set services list should consist a transponder list and what I'm actually trying to achieve with this is that I have list transponders uh, it's probably spelled wrong set transponder copy and now I need to create a list the set transponder list of transponders and now it should be right almost did wrong spelling import so now I need my get on setter generate source generate get on setter Right, so I did add this get on setter and I need to switch to my test set services list test and here I just need to call appropriate getter so now why doesn't like it uh, I forgot another semicolon to, to add it should fail I have written a failing test. Run as JUnit. It should fa it should fail. Yeah. It fails this test, and to be able to pass this test, let me just go to my setup. Let me just create here private list 
set transponder I create him here the transponders let me just think of it oh. so ah, I need to to give a name sorry <laughs> was a little bit puzzled by this a list of Transpon sat transponders sat trans transponders because I have many transponders here so now I need to initialize it yeah here in my setup I need I initialize it with a new and what have we here So basically, I need to create a transponder. I need to create a transponder and I need to pass uh, some values. And then I will basically, uh, and then I basically need to, let me just think, let, let me just think it through. So. Not only that, I need to create many, many objects and save them to, basically I need to work like this, list of transponders, I am adding to this list a new transponder. And of course it does not work because I need to use appropriate constructor let me just uh, prepare some stuff okay so I took the time and I did it did it created following so in order to be able to to check to check if check if transponder list not now in my in my setter I populate I creating a sort a sort of mockup object and first of all I need to create a channel list set TV channel list I creating here and after that I need to create a list of transponders and transponder have a following constructor string string integer byte integer byte Byte, and then I have I have to pass a list of channels, and this is a structure of my set services list. And this is what I'm actually passing through. So let me just quickly think. But I'm testing currently the consistency of the set services list. And I'm ch actually checking only one value, which is when you look it up in my in my project set services list. Actually I'm checking only one field. And let me point pinpoint. I'm checking actually this field in my class set services list. But I think this test should work. Let me just execute it. Uh, set, 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 set services list test here and let me just execute only one test. Uh, let's hope it works. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, yeah, actually, I created my list of set transponder in my set services list test, but I did not assign this uh, to my to my variables. So, how I should go about this? So, set services object. 
I need a setter to set it, set up set. And now I, what I need to do set list of transponder list. I forgot to do the following. So a list of transponders. Now it should work because it didn't, didn't assign the value to the appropriate field of the service set services list. And now it should work. Yeah, it continues with working with such structures, but I have my test, I can refactor my code. And why did it fail? Uh, Hmm, quite, I'm quite puzzled. Let me pause. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> this is what I get when I work too hard on Spring projects. Sometimes I forget simple stuff, but now I figure out. So, basically I needed to create my... Initialize my list of, lists of set TV channels. And now I got the result. Now. I just need to run only one test. So basically what I have done, I created, I initialized my list, list of CTV channels with a new linked list. And then I just populated with a new CTV channel. And this should be sufficient, pretty sufficient. Now I need to run my test here, do a test and it should pass. It shouldn't why it did fail hmm I'm pretty interested list set TV ah okay I see I see I see so basically I forgot to initialize this list this is the same stuff new linked list and this should be busy list list of transponders Uh, let me just do this. Uh, okay, so I hope it should work now. Now I need, <laughs> yeah, I have to initialize my list before I assign a values. Of course, in other case it wouldn't make any sense. So let me just. I hope this should this should work. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, yeah. I, sorry for 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 this kind of mistakes, but this is what I'm actually getting when I'm influenced by working with a Spring project. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. So basically, I need to initialize first my list, and then assign values to the list with the help of the add method and this works pretty 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 well now I don't like so much code in my setter I I like to stay it cleaner so let me just copy this code and extract method Basically, what I'm doing here, I'm initializing a dummy init dummy dummy transponder. Let's just look it up. Now I have my dummy transp transponder here. And here, I, what I'm doing here, I am. I need to make it prettier. So here I refactor extract method. So here I'm just 
init dummy dummy and list list of set tv channel channels many channels okay and and here i'm just taking all of the all things together and creating new set transponder so i have my transponder created and let me just run tests let me just run my tests and yeah so here I am um, with all of my stuff. Let me just think about this new transponder set services set names and position. Let me just extract this. Can I extract this effect? Extract method. So here I am initializing init dummy. Transponder fields, transponder fields. Um, actually, I'm assigning values to the fields. Yeah, fields. And here I'm assigning helper util and other things so refactor extract as i said earlier i'm i liking to keep my test uh, clean and very well structured so here i'm initialized dummy and here i have here lists um, transponders transponders and tv channels tv channels now it looks cleaner much better and i can now i can work with it without any problem so let me just run my tests all of my tests Yep, it works. And now I need to run all of my tests with the POM XML. And you see I have 50, 54 test runs and two skipped. And this is two two things which I skip. This is actually for printing some stuff. So basically, it, it works pretty well. So yeah, I'm getting pretty fast with my results and. The next thing which I shall do, let me just quickly look up the picture. So the channel as object is done, as a class is done, the transponder class is uh, okay, so it's finished too. Now I concluded with a set, trans set services list, and the set services list can. Be, um, it consists of transponder lists and the appropriate attributes of the set services and the set services as I said earlier it is when when I allow to show you yeah so basically I have created my have following following situation 
each time when I need to, to work with my set services, it should separate the information between satellites. So I have set services for Astra satellite, set services for Sirius, set services for Hotbird. Each of these uh, objects consists information about uh, transponders. And transponders are corresponding to the each separate satellite. So let me just quickly quickly draw the presentation. And now I have this representation. And next thing to do in order uh, is to, to, sh to draw you following additionally. So each of this transponder consists. Okay, so <clears throat> I have the situation. So each transponder consists uh, channels. And by line, I'm actually showing you the hierarchy. I'm I'm clearly saying this because many people think that I'm drawing UML. I'm not do drawing UML currently. I'm just showing you how I structured the order of my data structure. So services set services consist of following set services consist in information for each independent satellite it represents only one satellite the set services consist of a list of transponders and transponders consisting of of a channels list so for each of the transponders for the each of the satellites it has a channel channel list I hope it goes clearly as it as it possible. But anyway, I have my set. So I had my services. Let me just clearly show you. Uh, services XML. It consists of a transponder. A transponder have many channels. So I'm pretty sure. That my data structure here, here, and here is complete. And now I will go to most difficult part of building and reading the information from JDOM de document. So, what I should do next? You will ask me. Next, I will I need to create a builder for transponder. And the builder for, for a channel list. So what should builder do? Simple. It should take values from the set services model. And actually set services model calls a builder which which uh, in uh, which uh, gives uh, which takes the data from the set services model and respond back with a list of the channels and the same procedure go to the transponder the set services model calls the transponder and transponder responds back with the object with the transponder object and transponder object transponder uh, gets an information about channels which which has set services model read previously. Let me just quickly think about it. So first I get an access of a transponder. I'm sending the information about a transponder and I need to I need to send not only an information about the transponder, but I need to send information about channel. 
the transponder builder class it knows that the transponder consists of a channel list hmm, it, it becomes complicated <laughs> So, but previously, it obviously so it obviously that I need to think about the procedure how to build it. But the underlying data structure of the things is here. I, I just only need to think about my builder way. And let me just pause before I'm bubbling through. So after some consideration in the time which I took off the camera all right so at half an hour I I did thought about um, how I should process my data from services XML I have the data structure and what I actually thinking about to to, to uh, about my building process of the objects which I have created of the classes I mean and so how it should go and what is my current thinking process about this let me just quickly draw some things and this should be sufficient because I'm thinking the experience which I have got from writing a, a set model class and parsing the JDOM document I mean the, the working with the JDOM document it was not so good and now I have in mind following so I have my set services model the set services model it gets an access to the JDOM document. The JDOM document. Wait a second. Can I? Oh, I just need to. Uh, the JDOM document. And the JDOM document. I need to work with JDOM document. So. What should I do next? I need to calculate amount calculate amount of satellites let me just quickly type it out I need to calculate amount of satellites and I need uh, to get hold of a, a list of the elements from the JDOM documents list of JDOM elements Basically, I need to get an, to get an access from the root of the JDOM document. So then later I can just uh, iterate over it. Well, this is pretty obvious, yes. And here I have three three builder classes one builder class builder class is all about build a tv channel list tv channel list so this class creates it builds a tv channel list let me just move it like this and, and this will be this design will be pretty pretty good so this class creates a list of TV channels this builder class builder class uh, it creates transponder trans creates build a transponder list and now And let me just quickly move move over it. So and and the next in the next move, what I should what I should do next? Next move is build 
builder class uh, build a what I'm building I'm building I'm building 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 I'm building service service uh, need not not the list but service service uh, set service set set service set and I have following so it's pretty pretty obvious but this is not all now how how I think about how it will work so the set service model it gets hold of JDOM document it counts amount of satellites which this JDOM document contains and next move it calls a builder class it gets hold of a builder class with the name of set services set this class gets uh, elements list of elements in, J in the JDOM document It iterates over this uh, element list, which consists of all satellites from the services XML. And the end result will be a set, a sorted set. Sorted, sorted set of set services lists. Now, uh, this can be done pretty pretty this is actually pretty pretty tricky because my builder class which builds set services set it access first uh, a transponder list actually you can imagine that I'm basically having here a, some sort of a builder uh, uh, but so let me just write what I wish to to show you. So set services model calls a builder class sets build build set service set uh, build service set next step is to call it calls builder class of build transponder transponder list and build transponder list calls up builder class gtv channel tv so and tv respond back with a list of tv channels And I will just write numbers in the order of the access. So the first move, the set service, it is the class which calls the, uh, the builder class for the set service set. This, this is sec, uh, second move. and the next move the builder set, set, set service set calls up another class which uh, gets hold of a element from the element list and it builds a transponder list and the last one and of course, what this class gives back, it, it gives back, it gives back a list of transponders. So, and what happens next? So, once again, the first first step, set service model 
calls up my builder class which builds uh, set service set uh, the build service set <laughs> the builder set service set contains a builder method which calls in the third step the builder method of a transponder uh, builder class the transponder builder class builder method calls a, a builder method from the tv builder class and respond back with a list of a t of a, uh, of a tv channels and basically it, ha it happens all in in a sequence the main sequence in this whole thing is uh, a a builder class which builds a set service set and you clearly see that I'm what I have actually oh what I have actually achieved with my design I encapsulated the part so the builder the build, only one builder class know actually he did he, he didn't know about uh, no, he did. Know, he did know about that service model. So basically, this works like this. Once again, set service model passing through the whole JDOM document to the builder class. Uh, the builder class finds a root of the JDOM document. Then have one loop, one for loop. And in this for loop, he access the builder method of the builder transponder class list. This is the third step. And he pass through the actual, the current, he passing, he passes through the current root element so that it can figure out how many transponder lists he should proceed process sorry and the four in the in the in the step four he access in the step four he access the element of the transponder of the current transponder and actually I have here like here is I have one for loop FL for loop in the builder class of the service set. Here I have another for loop and I have here another for loop. So basically I am processing here I am processing I'm looping through the transponder list until I got all of my transponder list for one satellite and 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 uh, and at the same time and i'm doing all of the same time all of the three steps i'm doing of the same type or in the same type and in the last in the last class in the builder tv builder tv channel list i am looping through the tv channels for the corresponding transponder transponder list and I am reading of those and I am just sending sending it back to the uh, to the transponder list so yeah and set service model just it will be it will uh, look it looks like it will just look like I don't know. Let me just. It will look like a call from. This is basically to give you a reason why I'm splitting this stuff. Because set service model we just uh, call uh, a class like following. Um, set service. Set service builder, and just build. And that's it. it it 
the main reason why I'm doing so, the main reason why I'm doing so just to to stay clean, mm, because I did done a lot, <laughs> a lot of pro typing. I mean, a lot of work in the set service uh, set set model, and you see amount of of lines. Yeah, and this give given me some reason to think that okay, that was okay for the satellite's information. Sure, it can be done now. I think even better. I mean, this coding stuff. But I think about just do not spoil my set set services model because um I have no wish to to make. A complex because later in the project when I will start working with the GUI graphical user interface it will uh, I will pretty pretty sure that I will work a lot with the set service model and I actually in my set service model you see I have here some stuff too but this is pretty basic stuff and I'm thinking about just not to over over complicate my stuff. So here in my calculate amount of satellites for services, I will call up the set service list builder, and this will be pretty sufficient. So I think I'm pretty done with with my analyzing. The coding itself will happen not yes not right now I will do it I have stuff to do for my other projects but anyway mm, it is it was very important to think about what how I can do this in the best way possible so yeah TDD is good but you should always clear what is your design architecture and it's not always uh, obvious what and how you should design your software software architecture but I decided to do following design and I'm pretty sure that I would be successful with it and after that after implementing my creation of my services the next uh, logical move will be to go to the well let me just show you uh, so the next logical move will be to process uh, buckets buckets but buckets it's all thinking about it will be basically mm, kind of similar stuff maybe I can utilize one of one of the one of the stuff which I create with using builder classes for services maybe maybe but this will be rather interesting because here I'm having Here, here having actually favorites, fa 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 favorite list. I mean, like in Internet Explorer. So I have here the list which actually user will see and the end result at his device. And after after that, after that, when I have read this data and model it thoroughly, I mean thorough. And after that, I will start to do stuff like edit bucket list buckle model buckle model class and delete update insert crude actually this is actually what I'm speaking about crude but this will happen only after I'm Finish it with the set services. Um, with the set services XML. I mean, services XML. And 
this is rather important this is main core part of the application when i done with the, with this uh, with reading and modeling of services xml after that i can proceed further and probably i will be successful i think i i will be so yeah no coding for the moment but not always coding is important important is to design some stuff too and you have the design and let me just quickly write here set fl fl is a short notation for short shortcut this is actually short name of for for loop and that's it i hope you learn a lot me too and it continues so thank you and till next then bye bye